G'day all, welcome back to the channel. We are here at a fantastic venue today. You will never believe where we are. We are at Cranbourne Golf Club and we have a very special idea for all of you. Two man scramble for the time being. George is behind the camera, it's myself. We are going to break the nine hole course record. Now, of course, I said two-man scramble. That's clearly a lie because you all know who watch the channel. Between George and myself, we are not breaking absolutely jack squat. So we've brought in the big guns and we have hired some help. Chris, come on down. We have invited the locals. Chris, you are going to help us break the course record and tell us a little bit about this course while we are here. So thank you for first having us cool. and B, bringing in your absolute golf expertise. Are you excited? Um, I'm very excited. I'm a little bit nervous. It's raining, um, but the weather's starting to look okay. So we should be all right. Well, there you go. We've, he's already uh, understood our tactics, excuses. Yep. So let's go and play. So we've got a, a short par five to start off with. It's only 440 meters. Um, basically, uh, eagle chance here. That's what I expected out of the boys. Uh, a birdie is a fail, so let's go. Eagle chance here. A birdie is a fail. Obi, you're our only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh, the boys are back. First shot down to nerves, and the second one maybe. Oh, 175, we need an eagle, is that right? Eagle. Oh, it's low Piss and missile. cutty. It's actually, I hit mine better than that. Maybe you should be hitting off first. That's true. That was nice. I was actually watching this video this morning. Some girl did a, the new TP5 balls. Yeah. She hit the old ones. Apparently they were half a club longer in distance. They got you. Yeah, like five meters. And it, it, yeah, she tested it. She tested five, she did in a sim, but. Was she a good golfer? Yeah, she's pretty good. She's American. I started following her on Instagram. Is that because she's a good golfer? She's pretty good. She's pretty good looking as well. <laughs> Gabby Golf, check her out. George, you got one to the contribution counter. Am I closer? I think we'll be taking yours. Yes. How good is the additional caddy, George, that helps you read greens? Uh, yeah, because I'm a perennial terrible green reader. Yep, left edge. Now I just got to hit it to the left edge. It'll still be quick even though it's left. Okay. Now I'll leave it short. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. This guy. You like the trend of the group. You make one putt and you think you're a legend. That's two shots I've contributed to this hole. Yeah, two. I've contributed none, that's fair enough. So, I, I, if I had a caddy, I'd be a much better golfer. I thought you were about to say you'd be a pro golfer. Well, wouldn't go, I was that, like, far. Well, wouldn't go that far just yet. He's up there. We saw your first shot. You should come play golf with me every time now. <laughs> what are they putting in your houses? Yeah, residential. Are you going to become a golf course architect? No. In, in your next life? Yeah, short short par fours, flat greens, no bunkers. Craigie, uh, Craigie Burn doesn't have any bunkers. Don't know. That's one thing I can tell you. So hole two, it's a real long par four. Uh, it's just a, it's about 400 meters. Um, so yeah, par's pretty good on this one. Perfect. I heard perfect. It's in the middle of the fairway. That's rare. The tee didn't fly out of the ground either. Oh, big dog. Nah, a bit flighty. It's in the bushes. Nice shot. See, why can't we do that? Because we suck at golf. <laughs> Every time I've submitted a good score, it's always been at short courses. Because I don't have any length on my driver, so. Anything that gets shorter, I'm better. 
I'm the reverse Bryson. Golf would be much more enjoyable. Much more enjoyable than standing out in this right now. Good news is I put the umbrella out and the rain's gone again, so I'm gonna leave it out forever. Get my hands and glove are all slippery now. This will be good. Yeah, no pressure. We got one in the sand, one in the shed. Yeah, one in the green. What are those things when it's wet and it keeps your grips dry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Good. That was always going to happen. Exactly what I wanted to do. Edge of the dark mark. Yeah. Playing, go playing golf with Chris all the time. You're not allowed to do that. Uh, Can't tell what I'm aiming for. <laughs> I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest golfer alive. Again, this is hot rate. This is coming everywhere with us. Can you hit a high one? Because um, if you want to hit a cut, the best thing you do is actually try and go over that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. It's one small step for man. Well, it's high. I might as well just go because we're making that. This is the color now. I do not know what is going on here. This is like a solo hole by me. It's a miracle. Loser! Nice golf course is just bring the best out of me. See, this looks like it's got a fair bit of break to it. So I'm going to go like outside right cup. Yeah. Yep, couldn't be more crooked if it tried. That'll play. Giving us a chance again.
That was hit. Your boys smacking them. Ended up here, center fairway. I reckon we're one or two under, one or two under at the moment. Playing well. Bit of gardening. Look at that, perfect. George. Shot. Oh, I reckon I've seen that one too. That's Chris's fault. Team player. When I play as part of a team, I play better. Usually, I'm good for like 14 holes. Then I just get tired, mentally shot. We played two weeks ago. I was three points up going into the last. I didn't lose, but you're tired. Morak, JTC Cup. Check out the video. Hit that well, probably in a better position than everyone. We've got 174, five iron in. So it's right cup. You got to get it there, mate. Under through six and the rain has returned. Carry everything. It's directly over trees and then depends how many trees are in the way of the carry. Seventh hole at Cranbourne, two under, rip a three, tearing the joint apart. And when I say tearing the joint apart, I mean, not me, George and our new man, Chris. Chris, welcome to the channel. Just giving us every look, every read. Strikes the ball pure, he's off six, no wonder. He's just, I'll tell you what, he wants a new job. He can be a caddy for any man on the Australasian PGA Tour any day. That's where this goes in. I'll buy him dinner. Because he's no chance.
um, for the PAR. So this is exactly why when you play a golf course you never played before, you've got to play with someone who has played the golf course before. Otherwise you're just going blind. That's what we'll put most of our bad rounds down to. 140 shot. Oh. I won't hit it better. Oh, finally. Actually, a golf club I hit. Oh, did that roll in? Golf shot. Going to Golf shot. Oh. Um, George Buggy, I'll go first. Hey. I said I will go first if you want. Okay. It's going to slide at the end as well. You're almost. It's going to slide to left to right at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. Almost. It is going to strike out a bit. I'd almost aim at the golf cup. Shit. Oh, now nah, push that. Yeah. I don't think I even aided that cup at all. Did you push that though? Yeah, I pushed it out. Yeah. Drop. Get in. Oh, oh what a putt. So oh, good. It's the second big putt we've made today. Doesn't need to always be about you, brother. We, collectively, I made one, Chris made one, what have you done? <laughs> Hit it well, I just can't see it. Hit it 140 shot, you reckon? You can, you can, yeah. Hit it 160. Where is it? Oh, the blue flag. And put it in the hole. And it's a blue flag, man, it's a back pin. Because <laughs> the golf course actually tries to help you. Yeah, but you gotta know where the back pin is to know that it's back pin. No, it's well, just blue. Yeah. Therefore, you know it's in the back third. Yeah, but who yeah. That was struck pretty well. Let's get over the bunker. That was struck pretty well. It's, yeah, yeah, it's on the green. I think he's on. Mate, you've played outrageous today. Imagine if you could play like this. Uh, what did you say, 160? Imagine if you could play like this when it actually counted to your handicap. No, then I wouldn't be playing off 28. Well, yeah, that's kind of the point. Finally. Oh, good shot. Ah, oh, just waiting for it to disappear. Just, just three golfers, really. Good way to finish. That's what we do. That's the top way to finish. We're now all we have to do is fluff the putt. Could make the birdie. Too far right edge. This probably doesn't do much. Geez, I was that confident in you. Were you? That was silly. Yeah. Try to finish. Yeah, the fellas. Um, four under for a nine hole. Now all we're going to do is just double check that off with the superintendent in there, that four under is indeed the uh, nine hole record, because it's now ours. It's now ours, no, collectively. No, I think David Michaluzzi's probably shot like 29s around here before. David Michaluzzi doesn't know what hit him when the dream team <laughs> come back here and do it all again and we shoot 28. But <laughs> finally, just so we can get out of these guys' way, big thanks to Chris. Chris, no thank you for having us. Thanks for um, you've actually taught us how to play some form of decent golf. We, I, I'd say me, but really George will take all of your advice <laughs> and go through this ear and by tomorrow it's... Where does this go on YouTube or something? Oh, 